Here we are back again with something that is going to be pretty amazing compared to what I did a review on and that is how many of these companies are getting these products and they're all being manufactured basically at different levels by the same factory, the same plant. And then those companies have their own design go into it, they have their own engineering that goes into it, and then they market it their own way, and they also warranty it their own way. So, for example, you guys know years ago, you could go to Mercury and you could buy a Mercury Comet, you know, an old car, Mercury Comet car, or you could go buy a Ford Falcon. Well, the Falcon from Ford and the Mercury Comet from Mercury was the same car. It's just they were built slightly different and the marketing and the warranty and all that stuff was done differently and people had good luck with Mercury so they stuck with the Mercury product or they had good luck with Ford and they stuck with the Ford product. Well in this case I'm going to show you a power station that looks an awful lot like a couple others that are out there but this is Blue Eddy. The company's Blue Eddy. Now Blue Eddy, they're kind of a notch up there. Um, they are definitely in the game of power stations and solar and that's what this is, is one of those solar generators. Um, we're going to do an unboxing, we're going to take a look at it. Uh, this model here is the EB70, 700 watts. They refer to it as a power station. You know, this can charge quite a few different things, MacBook, phone, coffee maker. Now the coffee maker, you got to watch your amps. Amps are what kill this thing as far as they've got built in, they have a built in battery management system for charging and you know putting out power sometimes when you have a lot of amps or coffee maker you might have an issue there um, but it can be there's quite a few it can be done with it does have a 700 watt inverter and lots of power ports tons of power ports that you can use to uh, connect up uh, phone firewire uh, USB uh, plug household plug I mean they, there's just a lot of ways that you can connect to this which we'll see um, about 22 pounds so it came packaged relatively fast now I'm gonna tell you that shipping time because of all these delays I don't know when you're watching this video but the delays that are going on is causing shipping to go as slow as 10 days so uh, be aware when you order this even through the links gonna be in our Amazon store for this um, you're looking at potentially 10 days before you get it just so you know great over box very thick so that's good we can beat the crap out of it during shipping which a lot of these companies do <laughs> we'll go ahead and take it out of the box set that off to the side beautiful packaging again it's listed as an EB70 model uh, this is a carmine color your choices are steel gray mint green this one's carmine because this battery management system that it has, you've got about 2,500 recharge cycles on it. Um, and at that point, you'll get only about 80% of what it's capable of doing. But 2,500 recharges, that is a lot. I mean, you're talking a, a, quite a few years there. Um, nice literature here. I like how they do all this. It looks very professional. Like I said, they are kind of a, a step above. Um, certificate shows that they have um, a, a QC that it passed. Very basic, simple to read. Shows you all of the uh, functions of the device. Shows you how this can be charged by solar. That's the other thing. Um, if you're going to charge this or recharge this, it takes about four to four and a half hours to do it either by solar, that's like a 200 watt solar panel, or by a wall charger. Now if you're going to plug it into your outlet in your vehicle, you're talking about seven or eight hours for this to get back fully charged. So something that you might be able to leave overnight if you want to recharge it that way. Or like in our case, if we're just driving down the road, why not just hook it up and let it charge itself. Um, RMA number this is in case you have any issues and that's something I want to talk about this company does offer a two-year warranty and Bluetti has been around for a while now this isn't a fly-by-night um, you don't have to worry about an, a faceless company that you've never heard of um, they, they've been around so that's the the nice thing about this even though the uh, 
the, the product itself might look familiar, comparable to other products, because of their time that they've been around, you feel a little bit more comfortable buying from them. Probably like people were co more comfortable buying with Ford, that's why Mercury's no longer around. These are all the components. You see the Blue Eddy name. This is the charger that goes for the wall, you know, the wall charger. That's cord here, plugs into a regular household outlet. This is the way that you would recharge it, of course. Like I said, this is the seven to eight hour uh, with a 12 volt car power port. Nice. And then, of course, you got solar. So this does have a fan in it. I'm going to tell you that whenever this is running, the power, the charger, you can hear it. You can hear that it's charging up. Nice cord strap. That's nice that they've got that. The unit itself, it's wrapped up in plastic. Got a handle on top. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Again, we're talking about 22 pounds. Voila. I like the color. Kind of a tomato red. They said carmine, but it looks tomato to me. Very basic, simple layout. Everything is self-explanatory. On the back side here, very plain, nothing special, just the name. You have a fan here. Um, it will put out some noise whenever it's really working hard. Same with this side. There's a, a vent. And then, of course, your 12-volt power port. And then this is your light. Shows you your amount of power that's in there. Nice display. Shows very well. Had an SOS light there. This is the turn on your four sine wave. That's clean power. And so if you're going to run your computer, your critical components, you don't have to worry about spikes or anything like that. That's the way most of them are right now. And then, of course, you have your USB 3, which is almost like a fire wire. And then you have uh, some uh, extra DC. This is kind of a common thing that I see with... They've been doing this for quite a few years, too. And they make a cable that's a, it's a DC output cable. But I have never seen, tell you the truth, uh, that cable being utilized for much. But you can see it's 10 amps. It puts out 10 amps from here. So if you have a high draw item uh, that is uh, DC, you know, battery powered, yeah, you can run off that. Uh, of course, you can see 5 volt, 3 amps. As far as peak, I think you can get up to about a 1200 watt peak, and that's just for a brief time. It's 700 watt is the consistent rating. It's just like generators, you know, like a, our Honda generator. I can peak out at 2200, maybe 2400 watts, but it doesn't like to run at that. It likes to run at the most, maybe about 17, 1800 uh, watts. So, um, good company, been around for a long time. Oh, I forgot one important thing. Got my phone out. 15 watt charger. Throw your phone on top, no cable needed. And of course, you can use like all of these at basically the same time. You just have to watch how much you know power you're, you're generating if you have a 200 watt max solar panel system uh, this has a built-in MPPT charge controller so the solar panel as long as it's putting out 200 watts or less and let's say you're using this plug this one the charger and let's say one of these as long as the drain that's going out of here is less than 200 watts then you're still charging the battery and you're getting power direct from solar. So that's a, that's a brilliant design. One of the things that we think that we're gonna end up using this for is coffee maker for Heidi, because when we boondock overnight, and I've talked about this plenty of times, I talked about it in almost every power station video that I do, and that is I don't want my furnace, my refrigerator, or my hot water tank, of course my water pump, to suffer because the batteries that are on board on the RV are being utilized to charge a, a, a laptop, to run a power inverter, to do all kinds of stuff. I want that to be taking care of this because those things I just mentioned are more critical to us living as far as being able to take a shower, being able to have running water for the toilet, being able to have a furnace to keep us warm, being able to keep the food in the refrigerator cold, and of course the uh, hot water tank. Now, you guys are probably saying, well, don't those run on propane? Yeah, they do, but they require 12 volt. Like for example, the furnace needs 12 volt to not only run the blower motor, but it also needs 12 volt to use the igniter to ignite it. Same with the hot water tank. There's a 12 volt 
igniter that needs to be engaged that runs off of the batteries. Same with the refrigerator. It runs on propane, yes, but it needs the 12 volt power to keep the igniter going and of course your lights inside. So that's what we utilize these for. Of course, if you have a CPAP machine, that's something that may be in my future. If you guys watched my video where we went into high altitude, I was having a hard time sleeping. Uh, CPAP machines, power them off of this. These things will run for quite some time. And the good news is, is again, it doesn't come from the critical components inside the RV uh, getting cheated because the power supply, uh, you know, this power supply is taking care of it instead of the batteries on the RV. So the link will be down in our store. Click the link. Um, check to see if there's a coupon. I think if I'm not mistaken, at the time of filming right now, you've got a $50 coupon that can be applied and it will allow you to purchase this at a much reduced rate. Again, because of the current shortages that we have going out throughout the US, uh, shipping times may be a little bit longer than normal, but rest assured, it will get to you. Um, again, there's three different colors. I kind of like this one, this red. So I hope this helped you out, and if you like this video, click like or subscribe. But more importantly, use the link in the description of the store, and it'll take you right to our store where you can purchase this. As always, guys, we hope to see you out there. Bye.